like that happens. It's <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Boozy and the Beast, How to Drink Better. Today we are looking at storage. So Libby, time to think outside the box. Indeed, and one of the most exciting things about wine, I think, is the fact that from the day it's bottled, it's still going to be evolving and developing in there. Which means that basically you want to make sure you're storing your wine as well as possible so that when you open it, it's going to taste absolutely delicious, or at least as nice as you hoped. So some wines can be kept for one to two years, some five to ten, some fifty plus. So we all know the older the wine the better, right? Not necessarily. Most wines on the market are released when they're meant to be drunk. Okay, so what should I be looking out for? Really, if you want to age a wine, you're looking for two or three key things. Number one is flavour. You've got to have tonnes of flavour in your wine because that's going to be what's developing and ageing and changing in the bottle. So you want to make sure those flavours carry on through and can develop and evolve. And secondly, you want to be looking for a lot of acidity in a white wine and a lot of tannin and or acidity in a red. I remember we've already spoken about tannin and acidity in a previous episode, so if you're unsure about those terms, go back and watch that episode about how to taste wine and hopefully it should fill in some of the blanks. Or some of the blanc. Absolutely. Tannin and acidity are basically the structure that you're hanging those flavours onto. And with time, both the tannin and acidity will soften, which is why you want them kind of high to begin with. So that's what I'm looking out for. I've got the bottles. What do I do with them? Well, basically any wine, if it's got a cork in it, you want to be storing it on its side. And that's because you really want to make sure it's lying on its side so the liquid is in contact with the cork so it keeps it nice and moist and wet. And that way the cork isn't going to shrink and get all dry and let the oxygen in, which is going to just taste nasty. And if there's one thing I've learned in life, things are generally better when they're on the sides, nice and moist, and with as little shrinkage as possible. I concur. Basically, wines like to be kept dark, cool and damp, which is why we have wine cellars. If you don't have a wine cellar, most student accommodation will meet these criteria too. As a general rule, you want to keep your wines at around 10 degrees. They like to be kept about that temperature, on their side, in the dark. Light affects wine and heat above everything else affects the wine. In fact, one of the worst places you could keep your wine is in the kitchen. Ah, because it's just there, taunting you when you're making your breakfast. Drink me, drink me! Yes! But actually it's also the science, because that room fluctuates in temperature more than anywhere else in the house, and that's what's going to badly affect your wine. Remember, wine is actually really quite delicate, and the finer the wine, the more delicate it is. So you really want to take care of them. You want to keep them somewhere settled, still, dark and cool. Just be gentle with your wine.